Here we have the Marvel graphic novel Thor for Asgard. I need to open the book just to give you the full name. So the writer here is Robert Rohde and the artist is Simone Bianchi. Bianchi. Hopefully I've got that correct. There's a few other colour artists, etc. And what I want to do is just to flick through very briefly so that you can get a see, a see and a feel for the colours and the style and the art of this uh, graphic novel to help you with your purchasing buying decision. Sometimes online you don't get to see many of the pages. Now the art has got a kind of subdued colour going on, so it's not bright or brash in any way. The facial skin tones, you really can see a lot of detail, there's a lot of shading going on in here. So there you go, this gentleman's uh, profile, you can see his cheek, jowl, chin, etc. It's really, really detailed. It looks like, um, almost like a, a watercolour kind of paint structure used. Um, I don't think it is, of course, but uh, it has that kind of feel to it, sort of almost watercolours uh, in the way that the colours are, and I won't use the term washed out, but they're, they're subdued, they're subtle. So here we've got a really nice kind of feasting hall with all the uh, principal characters around the table, and food, etc. And the way that they draw the attention and the eye is by using this subdued colour. So the background here you can see has gone quite cold and grey. There are other characters back here but they're not important to the scene. These guys are sitting under the light and they've got all the colour. So it really does paint the scene using colour. So I'm absolutely not saying that in the back of Thor here it's dark but they've drawn all the attention to the guy's face and his skin and what he's thinking at the time. And I think this is really clever the way that they've done this and it's a really really beautiful looking uh, novel and absolutely hands off to the artist on this. There's Thor in the full hammer action. There's a cloak, some good lightning, his hammer lit up and uh, he's absolutely a fine figure of man in this picture here. So I'm not trying to ruin the story at all in any way, I'm not commenting on the story. And I'm not going to let you see any of the uh, spoiler pages near the back. There's Thor and there's Loki. And certainly Marvel have done a really good job here by selecting the, the writer and the artist. They've worked really well together. And I think they've got um, a really clever use of colour and action throughout. Okay. Beautiful graphic novel. I wish I had this in the hardback to add to my collection. There's the rear. So it's £12.99 in the UK. It's a Marvel emblem. That's probably about $15, $16 in the US. Perhaps similar in Euros. Uh, maybe $20 in Canada. You've got a, a, a small summary here. And this is Thor for Asgard, numbers one to six, collected together. There's the front again. I'm going to show you the spine. I can curl that up to you because it's the uh, soft bound. Thor for Asgard, Marvel. On the very end here, it's a black spine topped with Thor's hammer there. And uh, I hope that helps with your uh, purchasing decision.